The University of Arizona hosted Mississippi State for their home opener this past Saturday and fell to the Bulldogs 39-17. However, as Cronkite News reporter Marley Zana Thompson tells us, the Wildcats were able to compete against an SEC team and are feeling good about the season. The Wildcats hosted the Bulldogs for their home opener and there were highs and lows, but overall, head coach Jet Fish has faith in his team. I think every single day you see our football team improve and as long as we can keep doing that, we'll be okay. More than 46,000 fans filled the Arizona Stadium. They were loud, rowdy, and made their presence known throughout the game. It was packed really all the way through. We made a couple huge stops on third and fourth down because of the student section. Uh, they were awesome tonight. We need them to keep uh, keep fighting with us. And uh, as we build this stadium into being a packed house, uh, we'll continue to improve and play better. The fans made the Bulldogs panic at times, and when the Wildcats needed some motivation, they were there for their team. On defense, the crowd got loud, and they were trying to communicate, and you know they couldn't hear each other, so they had to call a timeout. So it's definitely, definitely a, an advantage. Although the Wildcats were unable to secure their second win, their spirits were high. Our locker room was very encouraging, you know, like we, uh, I know uh, guys were reiterating, uh, we got 10 more games and I think we don't need to, you know, dwell on this loss. All we got to do is just play, you know, week by week. The Wildcats failed to start the season 2-0. However, you would not have been able to tell based on the environment here at Arizona Stadium and Coach Fish recognizes there are a lot of positives to take away from this game. As we say all the time, right, I mean, our, our culture is strong because of the young guys that came in and because of the guys, the older guys that stayed. And uh, we're just continuing to get started here. I believe that uh, we're going to have great nights ahead. In Tucson, Marley Zana Thompson, Cronkite News.